their mouth is camouflaged. Most an most an oh, All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the Collecting Brothers. I'm John, and this is Josh. And today we're coming at you guys with another weekly talking toys. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Glad that you're here with us. Um, let's go ahead and I uh, don't well, have well, we don't have any like news to share, so let's go ahead and just jump right into our show. Here we go. First up from NECA, something I am really excited for. We are getting a Freddie Mercury figure. Uh, Freddie Mercury, of course, the lead singer from Queen. Uh, to get a Freddie figure, I, I love Queen. I love Freddie. And I mean, this isn't even coming off of like the movie Bohemian Rhapsody. This is literally just fans for this is just for fans of Freddie. <laughs> this is just forever. We actually have gotten a, a, this exact version in the costume by SH Figure Arts. Uh, maybe like oh, really? when they, kind of when the movie came out. Yeah, they okay. released kind of some Freddies. Um, but of course, this one's going to be a lot more affordable. I would assume thirty, thirty-five dollars. Right. Uh, and yeah, it's a good likeness. I think it's it's, it's good enough. <laughs> I think they got his likeness. This the only thing I'm having like a weirdness, and it could just be the posing of it, are his arms. Like I feel like there there's something going on there that I, like either they're too long or I don't know what it is, and it could just be the pose. Well, because I think there's no joints in the elbows or the knees, right? And so it's oh, just yeah, yeah, yeah. more of a statuesque figure and so that's why i think it looks awkward because this is not really a figure it's more of a statue than more a statue yeah for sure because you can't even that's why it's, yeah it's just awkward it's, it's kind of like a mcfarland's old action figures <laughs> exactly exactly yeah i don't know what neck is doing here they usually don't ever do something like this um i haven't really they usually always have elbow and knee joints but mm -hmm. for some reason this is the way it's it is arm joints yeah, you're right. I didn't even notice that. All right, but yeah, that, I think that you get two different heads there. You get this little stand. You get his microphone attachment. And we're getting Freddie Mercury from NECA. All right, next up, we're talking McFarlane toys. Two little things here from McFarlane. We're getting this Target exclusive Batman Sinestro. Sinestro, Sinestro right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, Green Lantern's nemesis, just the yellow version of Batman. Um, again, a pretty easy repaint here, right? Yeah, the only the only beef I have with this <laughs> is the fact, like, I love Sinestro. He's one of my favorite DC villains. And the fact that we don't have a Sinestro figure, but we're getting a Batman <laughs> Sinestro. Like, I don't know. It's just like a slap in the face, I feel like, to us. Where we, we, there's so many characters that Todd hasn't touched on. Right. And yet he wants to give us every single Batman and every single Superman possible. And it's like, dude, this is... We need to get this when we already have at least a Sinestro in our collection, you know? It's right. just weird. Yeah, and maybe, like, he's testing the waters. Like, do people want Sinestro? Oh, I'll people want Sinestro. He's like, yeah, like you said, he's the nemesis of Green have, Lantern. Yeah, you yeah. gotta have Sinestro. So, yeah, that is interesting that they haven't done any of uh, him at all. Like, not yeah. even a comic version or a weird version. Nothing. That, Nothing. Yeah. Just another Batman, though. And that is, again, Target exclusive. Uh, here we have a McFarlane Toy Store exclusive. This is the Unchanged Superman. But the special thing about this one is that it's a patina paint. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the Statue of Liberty S, you know, rusted look to it. Doesn't look too bad. No, I think the paint job came out phenomenal. I think. I think it looks great. Yeah, I think they did a great job on it too. Like, and that I, I'm not familiar with the Unchained Superman. It does a cool like aesthetic, like a big old armored Superman. But I, I was interested in, in regards to the paint paintwork that they're doing. And you're getting one of those little stands, which are cool. Yeah, you're getting a little card stand. Um, it is coming like a like in this really fancy packaging. And this is technically the third version of Unchained Superman Unchained. that we've gotten. Yeah, this is the third version. Wow, big hype for this guy. All right, let's go ahead and keep moving on. We're next up, we're talking Transformers here. Just a little bit of thing, a little something, uh, nothing new, but they did announce a fan stream with Transformers, Transformers, specifically the RoboSet. And those are the self-transforming Transformers. So they're going to have oh, a big, okay. They're going to do a big reveal for that. I want, I'm assuming Bumblebee, but we'll see. You know what they yeah, do. Yeah, because we've only gotten Optimus so far. Yeah, only Optimus, and everyone like that thing made it onto so many people's channels. And <laughs> yeah, news. it was on the news. I saw it was on the, the news. news. Yeah. Yeah, it was on the news. Like it was huge. So we'll see what RoboSend has for us May sixteenth, and we'll go ahead and make sure that we break it down for you here as well. They did also mention that there will be some other Transformers Generation reveals and oh, cool. some other goodies. They said so. It's not just the Rebel Sense. We'll tune in and make sure that we get you all caught up on that. But yeah, exciting. 
Yeah, that thing is sick. If I, if I had the money, I would definitely get one of those. I, that, that thing is sick. It is pretty cool. I mean, that's like probably any Transformer, like hardcore yeah. Transformer fans. It's like their dream, what they dreamed of as a kid. You know? like, they would have to, you know, instead of them having to do it, they could just yeah. click it and watch it. <laughs> All right, let's jump over to Marvel Legends. We are getting a Moon Dragon and Drax the Destroyer comic, comic versions, of course, here. And... I'm a little, it's interesting. These are interesting. I love the color scheme on Drax here. And Drax as a character is, is good. Um, I learned a little bit more about him when I was playing the Guardians of the Galaxy, the, the Xbox game. And, you know, it was just, he has, he has a good story. And to get him in this, like, kind of really cool comic version, I, again, I like the colors. I love purple and green. Yeah, this is going to be retailing for $50. Um, it's going to be due out in September 1st, 2023. Um, the only thing, that I kind of wish they would have done because you know it, you, you, it's you want to save money by using reusing molds. Right. I just feel like uh, the Hulk mode, the Hulk mold, is too like wide for this mm. look. I wish they would have used the Thanos mold. I think the Thanos mold would have looked a little bit better. And okay. You can still reuse it, right? One hundred percent. Right. Right. But yeah. it's just Thanos is like a little bit leaner instead of like it's too wide. I think for this. <laughs> that is interesting. I wonder what what goes into those decisions and how those decisions get made. Mm-hmm. but yeah there's Drax and we're also getting the moon dragon a little disappointed on this one great great like color scheme but we're getting the old female body it looks like at least for the arms it looks like they're single jointed why we have that double joint why are we not using those you know why is Hasbro not using those double jointed who knows elbows? there's a lot of things we always question that we have no idea what goes on yeah but that <laughs> upper chest is new I do like yeah. the look of that like the the, the textile Looks uh-huh. really good there. And it, it kind of looks like the watcher with their bald head, don't you think? <laughs> female watcher, female watcher. Uwatu, Uwatu. <laughs> so, yeah. I saw people making references to Sinead O'Connor, but G.I. Yeah. Jane. G.I. Jane. Jane. Yeah, we got Debbie Moore out here. G.I. Jane. But yeah, just Moon Dragon, Drax. Um, I like it. I dig it. But 50 bucks for me, no, I'm not, I won't pick this up. I would say though, 50 bucks is actually a fair price because if you look at this um for what it is so right this is a regular figure 25 dollars um that is a a larger Lux. figure hulk scale so, so it's going to be like 30 33 dollars mm-hmm. so it's actually way under what it should be according to hazard prices so i do think the price is fair okay yeah because yeah it, it, it's like it is cheaper say, than buying them individually if they were released it, individually. Exactly. It's like eight bucks under their prices. Mm-hmm. There's everything you're getting. You're getting two sets of hands with Moon Dragon, two sets of hands with uh, Drax, and another alternate screaming head, which I'm not complaining. I feel like that is it's decent. I like when we get extra yeah, heads. Yeah, I love alternate heads. Yeah. yeah God, so heads. Always good. But there's that packaging. Just that old Guardians of the Galaxy stuff. I think we have Yondu in this font as well. Mm-hmm. And so kind of cool that they are filling up those lines, especially with the new movie that's coming out or came out. I can't remember. Yeah, it's out. Yep. So, all right, let's jump over to Dungeons and Dragons Golden Archive. Honestly, I did not think we would ever come back to this line, especially after the movie was over and done with. But what they have released here is the the Legend of Dritz. This is a book hero. Uh, the book was written by R.A. Salvatore. And it's cool that Hasbro is going into the lore of Dungeons and Dragons, not just specifically the movies anymore. Like they're going into Dungeons and Dragons, which I'm actually excited for to get that hard fantasy figures from Hasbro. Yeah. So yeah, the, the Legend of Dritz is like the book that they it's this is based off from. But mm-hmm. the funny thing is actually the Dungeons and Dragons line started with Dritz to begin with actually oh did it? I, I put yeah i put in a picture at the end and we'll compare because th- this is the second version of dritz by hasbro actually okay um but the other dritz was based off of the video game and this one's based off of the book this is going to retail for 30 dollars, and it's going to be due out oh, in wow. august so it's a deluxe for them they're considering and i think the mm-hmm. box is is signed i'm not sure by the author yes it is they put a facsimile of uh salvatore's uh signature on the box yep Right, yeah. So, you know, whatever that, if you love that, then great for you, but it doesn't add any value to me. But uh, honestly, yeah, and I think what's terrible about it too, like the fact that it's not a windowless package. So it's like you can't even display the figure with that supposed signature that I guess is adding value. True, yeah. So it's just like useless, really, without the window. Yeah. Based off of the figure, though, looking right at the figure, I love the, the, the you know, the, 
the layering, I can't remember what that's called, of the armor. You know, the different plates, the different leather bands that are all stitched together, all the little details, all the little rivets that are getting painted. Um, looks really great for me. Yeah, I'm excited. I hope we get more Dungeons and Dragons figures. Yeah, that would, I love this. I, so I agree. Far. I agree. I, if we get some more, just like Dungeons and Dragons, not necessarily the un- yeah, armor and, and stuff, and, but like yeah based off the video games and the books i think it'd be yeah, cool, it'd just be like cool. they're doing and then here i have the this is the old dritz this was actually the first dungeons and dragons figure that came out wow so Remember it's the, the same character but just um a video game and this one, yeah and this one even came with the die that was cool <laughs> get you a 20 sided die I, I don't know i like the other version i love the packaging you get or the accessories you're getting with this like the effects, the different hairs, the heads, the, all the accessories. Great. Mm-hmm. You, get, you get a 20 die, 20 sided dice, but the arm, I don't like the gold trimming in the armor of this. I like this more muted red, you know, like a ranger out there in the woods. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And actually that one was actually more expensive. This one was actually $35. Whereas that one's 30. Mm, okay. I mean, cause you're getting more stuff. You're getting yeah. a lot more here for sure. All right, let's get over to Mezco Toys. We are getting the full solicitation of the Silver Century and Iron Man that they revealed way back during their Mezco Con. And this thing looks good. I, I, I have this one in the Marvel Legends version, but Mezco's, you know, they, they always add the extra goodies that make me kind of want to always tempt me. They're always tempting mm-hmm. me with those dang goodies. But we're getting that unmasked head. We're getting all those sets of hands. The stand and woo we look at all these uh, tons of blast effects, effects yeah, yeah. The crazy blast effects, effects pulse effects unibeam different unibeam effects impact events the repulsors like those are sick. <laughs> I want to put those on the flash you know <laughs> yeah and uh, like with all the other Mezco Iron Man's um, it is metal um, so it's like mm. all the parts are metal and then of course his uh, chest. His arc reactor lights up. Right, as well. right, lights up. Yeah. So, like the, I think I messed around with your stealth suit, Iron Man, and man, that thing is, it's pretty clean, pretty mm-hmm. clean. So to get that, what, one thing to note though is compared to the other Iron Man's, the eyes lit up for the other Iron Man's, but this That's one, true, um, yeah, it's not lighting it's up. Not... It's just the arc reactor. Hmm. And um, this is, is it, gonna... Can you see his eyes in with inside there, or is it just black inside? I think it's just black. Yeah. Oh man, dang! But um, it is going to retail for one hundred twenty-five dollars. And it's going to be due out in first quarter of 2024. Okay. So next early next year. Okay. Cool. Yeah. It looks great. I mean, if this is your favorite version of Iron Man, pick this up. Those, the metal suit you know, from Mezco's are, are nice. Those are really, really smooth and clean. Like when I was messing with yours, I was surprised at how smooth the joint was. Yeah. But the articulation how, is really good. But then how like stiff it could still hold a pose, even though how smooth, mm-hmm. usually when you get like really smooth stuff, you, it's like, you know, loose, but whatever they're doing there, it's clean. All right, let's jump over to super <laughs> seven surprise. We are getting a horror line. Figure. I think honestly, like a great choice for super seven, just like how the Simpsons are a great choice for super seven. Coraline is, I think perfect. I love mm-hmm. Coraline. I love all of Lakai's stuff. So, and this is a uh, one six scale. So it's, Ooh, okay. it's like, yeah. So it says it's 16 inches tall. So it's one in one six scale. And I think it's like $125 if I remember correctly. Okay. Um, okay. But yeah, just kind of, if you, you're a super fan, you know, it's good for you. Cause we did get the NECA version and that's pretty solid. Yeah. And I have like the, their neck, I have NECA's version of that. And then also their, the NECA, uh, Coraline doll, the one to one prop that they did when- in. One thing I'll be curious though is with the articulation because you know Super Seven sometimes that's where they lack the biggest. Correct. And just just the fact that everything is kind of covered up with cloth goods, it's hard to tell. But yeah, that's yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah it, that's one thing I'm worried about with this. Yeah, Neko went bendy wire on this. Yeah, yeah, they went bendy. <laughs> so, but I don't think Super Seven would do that. So we'll see what it is. But I think a good choice if they if they like continue that line, I would definitely be interested in like an YB. That would be a perfect pairing, those two. And then, of course, the other mother. But all right, let's keep going over to Storm Collectibles. We are getting Shiva. Man, I've been beat up by this chick so many times. Mm-hmm. I hate when she jumps up and then comes back down on you. <laughs> Doom with her kick. Doom. Yeah. That's the worst. I hated that. But we are getting Shiva and looks good. Great man, super or storm collectibles is doing a great job with their Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, no, this looks amazing. And this uh as 
we've kind of talked about the four. This is uh, exclusive to Big Bad because Big Bad owns the rights to store right. clips in the United States. Um, so it's going to be a hundred and ten dollars. It's going to be due out in third quarter of this year. And wow, she is very going to be very large, right? Because it's like the female version of Goro. Right, right. And we just got the release of Goro, and so she's going to be like ten and a half inches tall. So pretty Ooh. massive figure. And yeah. That's Shiva. Really cool I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited to get this because we haven't gotten a Shiva where like, you know, the Goro was cool, but it was like we've already gotten a Goro. And so right, right. to get a new character from more, character. Uh, from Storm. Yeah, really awesome. Yeah, this looks great. Look at that paintwork that they're getting on the back here and that that twisting of the torso that good 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 articulation. Mm. And it's a you know for four classic arms, up, uppercut. Yeah, four that's my go to move. <laughs> Yeah, forearm figures are sick. All right, but there you're getting you're getting a cool blast effect. Look at all those hands that you're getting. I mean, you do have four sets of arms here, so <laughs> yeah, ten ten pairs of hands, two head sculpts, and fireball effect. Solid, dude. Wow, and this the same cool. amount of hands. This is cool. I mean, it makes sense though because she yeah, has four hands. She has four hands. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so you gotta have a lot of hands. So it's basically only you know five sets of hands, which is might that might be normal for Storm for their normal figures. All right, let's go ahead and take it around the net. Cool things we found. First up is the Armored Titan. So Who's this is this? from Five K Toys. Uh, they're doing the Armored Titan. It's going to be one tall action figure scale, so it's just going to be like a six inch action figure. You know, because you can't make it a scale with anything else. So yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. a cool little one six scale figure it is third party so it's not it's unlicensed um so you'd have to pre-order it if you want to pre-order it what's uh what's the nickname that they're giving it do you remember um, i love these third the titan. parties the titan, the titan just the titan yeah just the titan not armor titan the titan <laughs> so yeah this third party you can pre-order at 5ktoys.com if you like if you would this like cool. um it's going to be pretty cheap it's only going to be 60 dollars, and Ooh. it's going to be due out for quarter one of next year 2024 yeah, that's pretty cheap for a third party <laughs> yeah Maybe. like for how good it looks it looks way i mean you're not getting like cloth goods and stuff like that but this looks solid tight and you're getting extra heads and hands man yeah this looks good yeah i'm definitely interested i think i might pick this up for 60 bucks it's not bad oh no oh yeah look at that it's not bad at all dude yeah and great skull, great paint yeah to have a titan to have ryan or what's his name reiner I, yeah reiner reiner, reiner. Yeah. i got confused with reinhardt <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. freaking reiner all right yeah this looks great this looks great Ooh, there's a beauty shot with the smoke coming out and yeah. um they they have plans i saw to do aaron's attack titan as well so you can have them like fighting each other when they come out Maybe, so that'll be maybe like we got to support this if they do the line like yeah female that's titan, it yeah female titan Freaking uh, Warhammer Titan, just do all the Titans. Warhammer would jaw be cool. Jaw would and be jaw. Cool. Cart, cart Titan. And there's like three different versions of Jaw. You could do like Falco's Jaw, the Amir's Jaw. No, that'd be sick. Man. I'm going to get this. You're right. I got to support this. Yeah, no, that'd be cool if they did just the Titans. Would yeah. do you think they would do Beast Titan? That would be sick. That would be, be the dream. That would be the dream. That's like the that'd end be... of the line. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so sick. I hope 5K Toys keeps going. Yeah, this, this is really cool. This is exciting. Well, actually, it's it's not by five K five K Toys is soliciting it, but it's actually by um, Cozer Toys and V Cozer Toys. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah, this looks great. <laughs> All right. Well, that's gonna go ahead and do it for us this week. Man, exciting reveals, and we always got that toy news rounding up for you guys. But let's go ahead and jump into our pick of the week. Let's look back, Josh. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? While you're thinking, if you're going over to Entertainment Earth, make sure you use the code BROTHERS for 10% off your order for any in-stock items and sale items. So you can get those nice and cheap there for you. And of course, free shipping on orders over, I think, 59 still, right? 59, yep. 59, always with that Entertainment Earth. You won't find that price anywhere else. All right, Josh. What's your pick of the week? My pick is going to be uh, Shiva from Ooh, Sword Collectibles. Oh, dang. I, I love four yeah, arm figures. Shiva. It's just the, to have that, that, that articulation scheme with four arms, it's so hard to do on the torso. Yeah. And you have an ab crunch. It's not like the Spider Man from Marvel right. Legends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not just a stiff body. You're still getting that ro- that ball, basically, you know, yeah. and to, to fit that in the upper torso. I mean, it helps that she is bigger. You know, yeah, bit, they have more room to work with it. Exactly. But oh yeah, that is cool. Yeah, she was she was pretty sick. She was pretty sick. All right. I think Shiva was I, I really did she was in the for sure running. I'm gonna go with the Titan. I'm gonna the go Titan. with the Titan. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. The paintwork that we're getting here, like this looks just like it, it's coming out of the anime. I love the little I don't guess not dry brushing, but how the crevices are darker, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like a, I, like a like a 
a oh, wash. The wet, the wet wash. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's dark wash. Great. So yeah, I'm going to throw my hat for the Titan and it would be cool if we did get more Titans. <laughs> and they are, they're giving us Aaron. So yep, they're yeah, going to go. If, uh, if you, if you have not checked out attack on Titan, let this be a message to you. Go, go watch it. Go watch it. It's a solid, solid show. And it's coming. It's wrapping up now so you'll have everything available to you you won't have to wait what the three two years in between seasons <laughs> all right but thanks for friends for tuning in to another weekly talking toys this is john and that's josh catch you guys next time peace peace